unafanya kazi mingi sana I follow you daily kila siku wewe uko na kitu unafanya lakini ukiondoka hiyo kazi umefanya inaondoka na wewe shida ni nini shida ni kwamba umeitatua nusu na hukumaliza ile mabadiliko ulifanya kwa civil service was good mimi a good thing is a good thing lakini mahali kuna ni hao watu hao watu wa uniform hao watu wa uniform kama na hii ndio serikali yako mashinani kuna disconnect mimi nitakwambia rafiki yako there is a disconnect between hao wa jamaa wa uniform they are very important to us na ministries huko juu the ministries are not involving these people to deliver service to the ground that is why wewe ukienda unaenda na kazi nobody remains to speak about your job nobody remains to defend you can the ministries involve these people can we appreciate their work can we embrace them akaje ni kama na kawe mimi kama na mimi ni zolija yako hapa hata umondie je hata ndo vuti na eh manyezi ni je je na kukiharibika sasa tunafunganga hii lugha hizo unajua tunafungia wapi eh alafu tunafunga pale tunafunga pale na tunasema hapa kuna mtu kufanya nyonyo nyo asante ke huyo mheshimiwa nakubali sina wabunge wawili hapa eh nakubali kazi kwangu si ndio kama na niko na shida hii kazi yote umefanya niko na shida moja na serikali kuu bila unakaa hapa kama na security ya hapa watu wa lugari is compromised totally compromised na mimi nataka niambie county commander na nimepuka ni point medication iko kwa PSO Molo kijana mmoja kama na anatoka hapo Mugunga a very good young man amefanya kazi na pawazo akawa amechaza pesa ya kutaka kununua gari mwenzake akampigia simu kuja unipeleke twende tuchukue mbao kule mlimani mlimani is in ilikuyani constituency akilimani yo excellency akaonyesha wenzake huyo akaweka simu kwa volume unajua vile vijana hukua wenzake wakasikia wakajua ule aliyemuita yule kijana akakuja akachukuliwa na huyo akakuja akambeba na pikipiki wakaenda wakakunywa mafuta safa oil turbo lakini kabla ya hiyo walichukua na mtu watatu huyo mtu watatu akawa amevaa mavi na barakoa wakati wa saa hii ile asijulikane wakachukua mafuta wakaondoka kwenda huyo kijana we recovered him the day before yesterday akiwa ameozea kwa maji kilimani alafu what annoys me what annoys me there are two things one yule kijana aliyemuita akashikwa CCTV ya sofa oil inaonyesha mtu watatu police in lumakanda in lugari in kakamega cannot get this man to identify the third person tunadanganyana nini tunasumbuana nini na ukweli ni kwamba there is a policeman kutoka maj
matengo. Nasema hivi kavana. I'm saying this to the OCBD of Lugari. You either apprehend this guy or we will ask all of you to leave us in peace. For God's sake, I took an oath to defend the constitution of this country. And one of the things the constitution provides is sanctity of life, protection of life, protection of people's property. We cannot be overtaxing Kenyans instead of protecting them, we allow them to die like chicken. Apana, 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 lisema hapo lipo. Ukiona moshi kuna moto. And we don't need that police post in Majengo. Please, can you close it? Because the place of killing people. Can you close it? We cannot allow a rogue policeman anaungana na wananchi to murder people. Finally,